In this video, create a dance party where your viewers can join with a random set of dance moves, with either one dance per person or as many as you'd like. Hello and welcome to Streamer Bot Bites, where I cover how to set up and to make the most of the awesome streamer bot. There is one video per topic to make it easy as possible to follow and find. When relevant, sample import code will be provided to make it even easier for you to get started and to add functionality to your stream. So let's get started with the topic for this video. Firstly, we need to create a browser source in OBS. I would suggest we keep it in a scene which is nested so it appears in all your scenes. So as you change scenes, the dance party will persist. We need to create a browser source and let's call this dance party. It doesn't matter, but you do need to configure it later. So do remember what you call it. The size, so the width and the height here, are going to depend on what part of the screen or how much of the screen you want to take up with the dance party. You could just use the full size, 20 by 1080. That'll take up the full screen and allow the dance party characters to appear anywhere there. If you, for example, only wanted most of the height, say 600, I would leave this as a URL browser source, but we'll change this to about blank in a moment. You'll see here, this is where we want it. And if you wanted to say, use that area, you set the, the relevant dimensions. So let's change this URL to about blank. I would also suggest using shutdown source when not visible, because we'll change the visibility in this. And so what will happen is when we enable it, it's going to refresh that source. So it's a new dance party each time. So let's click on OK and go to Streamerbot. For a dance party, you do need OBS to be connected to Streamerbot. So underneath the Stream Apps and OBS, make sure you have a connection here. If you don't, the best video to follow is probably the Streamerbot 0.1.12 video which is the previous one uh, to this video in the Streamerbot Bytes series, uh, which will cover how to connect that through with OBS 28, uh, which is probably the easiest way to do it now. You will also need, under the service clients, the WebSocket server. So auto start that and click on start if you haven't done already. Next, we'll use the import code in the video description. Simply triple click that in the video description, copy and paste in here. That should then show you the dance party, action and command. If you want to use channel point rewards to trigger this, do untick the command so it just runs in the action. Click on import and in the action, we can filter on dance party. And we can see here, we need to do a bit of setup. The first one, is to set browser source URL. Make sure that's associated with the fast track alerts if you've got the fast track package or the scene you want to use it in. And the source to be the dance party. The URL, if you want to have a single dance per viewer maximum, leave it as it is. Otherwise put question mark multi on there. The URLs are both in the video description. So you can copy and paste them if you want to change them there. Click on OK. Make sure, again, the scene and source are, are set correctly there. And the scene and source are set correctly in the other OBS set visibility state and the set browser source. And finally, make sure this last one here is to the dance party. And there we are, we're good to test. Now, if you want to use the command you've imported, make sure it is enabled. By default, StreamerBot now does not enable, so we're gonna enable that. You also may want to change the permissions. So you maybe dance party can only be kicked off by moderators, for example. If you want, however, to do a channel point reward, under platforms, Twitch and channel point rewards. We can create a new one there. Set the name, the cost, 
I would uh, do a cooldown. It's going to be quite a lengthy cooldown since it's five minutes, so it's 300 seconds. Um, I would say maybe every half an hour, maybe a good suggestion to try. So that's going to be um, 1,800, I think. And then the action is going to be the dance party. Again, using the filter can be a great way to pull out the dance party there. So you can select that. So we then have the dance party and we can add that um, chunk in there. And of course, put the prompt in, create a uh, fun dance party to join in with. And now we can test. For this, we can use the dance party command. You could trigger this by the channel point reward if you're using that option. And see here it's acknowledging who started it and how many minutes are left. We can see here the dance party has been enabled in this uh, source there. And it just is now to doing an exclamation mark join. And each time I do it, it takes a short delay, slightly less than a second. And we're going to add in more and more different dances to show that it works. Now, we're not going to wait here for five minutes to go, but each minute we're going to get a countdown to, to give the chat an idea of how long there is of the dance party. Then let's step through all the actions and look at what they do. We're starting off by setting the browser source URL. So this is going to set the browser source as the URL we need with the multi, which is in here, or without the multi. So the ability for viewers to have one or multiple uh, dancers. The web page is going to do all the work for us here. The web page is also going to connect into the uh, studio bots and look for the exclamation mark join command. The next, we're going to show that web source as visible. So I'm doing this so it'll only turn the web source on for as long as it's needed and turn that visibility off will unload that web source completely and should free up resources in OBS. So we can see that, that is set to visible. We're then sending a message to Twitch chat, whoever started it, and you got five minutes to join in, to exclamation mark join in. We're then doing a delay for a minute, do four minutes, delay three minutes, etc. until we're done. It's uh, the dance party is over. And suggesting, of course, if you've been dancing, rehydrating and stretching is a good idea. Finally, we set the source to be hidden for the dance party and set the, uh, the URL to be about blank. This is so it's fully cleans up. And if you want to use a different web source for the dance party, you can do and share amongst different redeems. Make sure they're in the same queue, however, so only the web source can be only used by one of the redeems at a time. Please like and subscribe to be notified of more videos like this. If there's a topic you'd like covered, please do let me know in the comments or on Discord. Check out my Twitch stream to see the bot in action and for other examples. The links to my Twitch, social media and to streamer bots can be found at vrflad.com. Additional links to others that provide streamer bot content can be also found in the description. Finally, thank you Nate for making a great bot and please consider supporting his Patreon which is linked from streamer.bot.